LDM show. You just turn it right there. There you go. And uh, again, like I said, it's Bronx night, so I'm bringing a bunch of Bronx people here. And I have the famous photographer, bloggers, whatever you want to call them. The <laughs> Bronxer is here. How's it going, man? Oh, man, I'm enjoying this beautiful hot day. <laughs> you enjoy a hot day like nah, this? Nah, that was oh, full okay. sarcasm. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> like I said, I was making a joke in the beginning that I was 300 pounds, went across the street, came back, now I'm 190. I, yo, you know what I'm saying? The best, it's the best day. It's summer bodies already. Summer yeah. bodies one block. I'm one block. That's it, dude. <laughs> hey, I'm charging $30 membership fee. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll what? walk you across the street and back, and you'll lose Ooh, all that weight. That's intense. Yeah, it, it is, it's, it's hot, and especially for something that you do, because you... you Go all around, yeah. taking photos and going on exactly. events and stuff like that. That I burn is a lot of calories, man. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I'm like walking and riding my bike. It's one or the other. Or you see me on the train if I'm like really over. It. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> but what's made you start this whole uh, thing of going around taking photos and you know and posting them up and I stuff mean, like that? It's, I mean, there's stages to it. I guess like at the beginning, like I was an artist, right? And after that, I did I did fine arts. I did general. right, right. And I was like, all right, this is cool and all, but it's just like, it takes us too much time. And like, to be a fine artist, you need a lot of word of mouth. So mm. I couldn't do that. So I'm like, all right, so let me do this with photography instead. My father gave me a camera. He gave me a film camera, actually, back in like the 2000s. And I'm like, I still didn't know how to use it. I'm like, what am I supposed <laughs> to do with this? And then, Point and shoot, right? Point and <laughs> shoot, I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> and then so I, I started uh, my program in The Point. Right here in Hunts Point. Right, right. Exactly where we're going to have the music awards. Oh, look at that. So check well, it out. Right, 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 right. All right. And then we started, uh, I started this program called ICP, International Center of Photography. Right, right. And they had a free program there. And I tried it out. It was all film. It was great. And I'm like, yo, let me bump up to digital because film is expensive. Okay, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so, true. So, you know, I started from there and I, um, and I just started interning and like working with a lot of photographers that I kind of knew through friends. Oh, okay. And from there, I just started doubling up, and I, you know, went to college, and that was another another level. adventure. Yeah, another adventure, another level of wow. creativity. That that what was the hardest thing that you found in photography? Because I took photography, I just didn't go all the way to the green room thing. Oh uh, yeah. You know, that tells you how long it was that I took photography. Oh, um, man, no, but man. I didn't go to the green room um, place, but I did everything else. What was the hardest part for you for photography? The hardest part for me was, I guess understanding what category of photography that I, do I want to get into. Get into. Yeah, yeah. so, yeah. And you, that is so good you said <laughs> that because it's just like video. Um, people were like, oh, I'm a video um, person. I'm like, what type? A video per no, 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 there's no, no, different no. type. What type? Yeah, there's different type of photographers, <laughs> and meaning that there's action photographers, there's yeah. um, models, and food. food. Like, so there's a lot of. And then on top of that, like you get into food, like now you have categories of food. It's food. Like, you can't even like say, oh, food or raw. It's yeah. Like, oh, it's Italian cuisine is it normal? Is it dry? Is right, it, right, right. Like, now you're getting into drinks. Mm -hmm. okay. so you know what's so funny <laughs> when you said that? When I first found out about food photographer, I'm like, really? Really? Like, like as a food that? photographer? Like, and then when I when I Googled to find out, I was like, oh, they be putting it in a little box. Yeah, they put it in a whole setup. Like, oh, like yeah. the fish is a human being, and you're yes. treating it, and you have to treat it with the most delicate manner. Yes. Like, and they be putting the make they make sure the colors are right. <laughs> no, that lettuce don't belong there, it belongs exactly. in the corner. There's food oh. too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's full style, like a makeup artist, but for food. But. See, so you guys learn a lot of new things today. And you, just like I said, like with the video camera, uh, I have people that's helping, but they only know how to do still videos so yeah, far. Exactly. Action video is totally different. Oh, um, that's, another, that's a whole other action. Yeah. So when I do yeah. my action videos, people be looking at me like, what he's doing? Moving around, moving this. That's why it's called action videos. Um, it's, action it's hard. For the, for the videographer, for, that's yep. for the actor itself. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's hard um, to understand, but which one do you like the, the most? Like, all uh, the... I mean, I started off with portrait. I'm like, I'm, that's oh, like my okay. foundation. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I did like landscape, which is really cool because I'm like. I never got into that one. Yeah. yeah never got uh, into it, landscaping. What really got me like going crazy because I interned for National Geographic, for, uh, for a photographer that worked for National Geographic. Right? Oh, he, wow. Which was crazy was that he would like make me edit like all his like images and stuff like that. And I'm like, wow, this is crazy. Like, <laughs> I'm like in the Sahara somewhere, but like stuck in Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm like, why not do this in the Bronx? Like, you know. It's getting true, overlooked, true. like, intensely. Like, it's just like, oh, whatever, it's the Bronx. It's not because the Bronx is huge. Like, you, go, you could stretch out all the way over to Marshall, go to Van Cortland, go to... True. And you're like, wow, 
You have you spent like a week trying to get through the Bronx. <laughs> yeah, and not only that, they have so much. If like if you look at the buildings, mm -hmm. so much graphics in the buildings that from oh, the olden yeah. days. I and love it. It's like Art Deco. Yeah, that's all Grand Concourse. You have like mm -hmm. old historian Celtic. Like it's it's crazy. It's like, yeah, that's a lot. And then there's some places that still have the wall that they tagged on. They kept oh, it there. Yeah, yeah, they have you know. Been, Oh, the big pun mural. That's all yeah, the big there. pun and stuff like that. Yeah, where, where some people, when we pass by, we're like, "Wow, this is still here." Yeah, and you it's know? like perfectly preserved. Yeah, and yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's crazy. So there is a lot. So that means you bring that to light. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Yeah, that's my whole purpose. Is just to add like a big limelight spotlight on top of the Bronx. And oh, we got, what, we taking a break? Oh, okay. We're gonna take a break and we're gonna come right back with. The Country Music Independent Artist of the Year nominees are Rustin Vaughn Lee with you and with Storm. Set a fire inside, baby, for a long way to chase or take straight. Baby, all I need to taste for that sweet, sweet love and pour it all over me. You and whiskey feel the same. Erica Dawn with Make Up Your Mind. Franklin Cisco Burns with It Rain. Sending signals out so clear. And every tear holds a memory of what our love used to be. Cause right now on our love, it rains. Katie Dix with Wanted It to Be You. Somebody knew. I gotta get my heart back. These are the 2018 independent nominees in the country category. These are the 2018 independent nominees in the Latin category. Karma Rose with Absence. Meryl G. Con Ella Está Tremendo. I got a party hard, this is just a start Stay out all night to the break of light I'ma take you home, shut off the phone I'm feeling the vibe De Cell y Marvel Scum Tu te diste No valoraste Todo lo que hice por ti These are the 2018 independent nominees in the Latin category. Hello and welcome back. We had to take a short uh, break because of the uh, nominations, because of the music awards. So they want to make sure they get a couple of nominations in yes. there. But I'm back with the Bronx. Sir. We, you know, we were talking I'm about here, photographing. So uh, and, and again, thank you for coming. Uh, yes. We've seen each other at the um, market, the Bronx market. I know, you caught me like right on the yeah. last second too. I was like, oh, uh, my wife was like, ain't that the Bronx one? I was I'm like, like yeah. yeah. She's like, are you ready for Thursday? I'm like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it was great. Um, how did you like it? Did you well, oh, it was great. I ate everything. Like, I, See, now, like, I, now, now I'm not liking you. Uh, I didn't even get, I went on two lines and everything was sold out. I know, but I'm the Bronxer, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. That's what you get for going late. I got, I got there late. You had to come in like when they're setting up. Setting right? up, like, yeah, right. let me get like, one of those. I don't want that, right? That looks ugly. <laughs> yeah, they, um, two of the places told me that they sold out within an hour or two. Oh, yeah, two. and Penology sold out. Yeah, and that's the one that I was on, on the one. Penale. 
Yeah, I was like, wow. Yeah. Um, hopefully they learn, and next month they come with more. Oh, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, oh, no, no, I guess that was just more. like a test. I, I heard them in the back. They're like, yo, we're going to double up next time. I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah, go. double. You got to triple. <laughs> you got to triple because everybody came more. in hungry. Because you figure in, a, in an hour or two, they sold out. Exactly. And they had at least two, three more hours left to go. Yes, they they exactly. need to bring some more. Was, they, they ran out of drinks and food. Like, yeah, it's usually yeah. like one or the what, other. Uh, that crazy. lemonade stand place. Uh, which one? Marcello, I think it was, or Michello? something like that. No. But anyway, there was a, a lemonade place there. They sold out within a couple. Oh yeah, but it's lemonade. Like, it was and it was hot. That it was. I don't think they they thought about that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> lemonade oh, and the heat man. go together. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Exactly. So they said uh, they sold out within the hour or two. So oh, that was man. amazing. Um. Was so shout out to and them. The performances, man. The performances. The drama was the amazing part. Anthony Anderson. Anderson. I'm gonna say it again. Yeah. <laughs> He was a savage on those. On and those, then the, on the thing is, set. I was there, and then they said, "Are you ready to film?" So I said, "Yeah." I put my camera down. He was testing the drums, and, but and someone put the the microphone next to him that it was coming out the speakers. Oh, so he's projecting. So it. he just was like, oh, "Okay, I'm already playing." Yeah. <laughs> but that was not his time to play. Yeah. He was just he was just happy. like for him. Yo, it's like, so let me just, practice, but not really. But I'm yeah. still gonna give you a show on my practice. So they crazy. just said, you know what? Just put him, and then we put the person next. Oh yeah. So great. they just let him wail, he's he's and great. he did real good. He's amazing. I, I was, I, I never seen it. I, <laughs> like live drumming like that in the heat, and he didn't miss a beat. He didn't. He didn't miss a beat. <laughs> if it would have been me, I would have flung those sticks a long time yo. ago. Just a swoop. Nah. Yeah. He and he just kept it going, and it, they <laughs> let him go. I heard him say like, yo, keep him, let him go. The crowd is loving it. So. Yeah, though. He, yeah, he made an audience. He yeah. had his own concert happening. Yeah. But uh, uh what else? Like you say, you do the landscaping and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. So what you try to bring, what is your, your whole message on in, uh, when you're bringing your photography? My whole message is like self-promotion. Like, and, and like if you were to put it all together in theory in a melting pot, right. I'm my own middleman, right? Okay. I mean, it's not easy, but it is something that people should understand that they are more than just a, a human being. They, they could be a tool to themselves. They could be a tool to their own craft. Right? Yeah, that is true. So like, I mean, I'm a graphic designer and like, I could. I don't have to hit up people to be like, "Hey, can you make me a flyer?" Well, or, "Hey, can yeah, you make yeah. this video?" Yeah. Like, I know that I'm like, "All right, it's my turn now. Like, I get to do this." So, like, I'm trying to tell people that like, you don't need a multi-million dollar company to be the biggest, be the, the biggest you could be. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, the, <laughs> the LDM network can tell you that. <laughs> you know, we don't got the biggest budget, but we got the biggest hits. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you could have millions of dollars, but if your content doesn't work, it's right, you know right. you're. You're going to go south. Like it's well, yeah, that's the reason why we love, you know, I love my station because we have yeah. so many virtual shows. Like, yeah. it's not the same show every single day. Exactly, it's variety, right? Yeah, you we know? have, like, so many different ones down to comedy, down to uh, hip-hops and stuff like oh, yeah, that. So, great. you know. That, that really, uh, like, sums it up. Yeah, yeah, the bonus yeah. Too. And we have adult um, podcasts, too, you know. That's dope, that's dope. So they talk, you know, they, I don't, they don't really curse, but it's adult. Yeah, it's type adulty. topics. It's adulty. Yeah, it's adult <laughs> topics, and exactly, basically, yeah. you know, they do curse here and there, but it's yeah. an adult topic on um, podcasts. Um, cool. so which is good, you know. And speaking of podcasts, we got a couple more that's going to be coming after oh, the yeah. Bronxer. Yes. But um, t wh what's the uh, website or where can they? Uh, oh, so like um, on all my social media platforms, you could just look up the Bronxer. So it's the Bronx and then E R. Actually, is on my shirt. Nope. Which is even <laughs> even so, even better, yeah, and so, it's in the bottom too. I, yeah. And it's in the bottom of our uh, thing exactly. too. There, so, so my website, my Twitter, my Instagram, everything, even Tumblr. If you are it's like, the, it's all I, in there. I love when <laughs> people do that. Yeah, when man. you have one thing oh, for everything. Exactly, because you can't be like it would have been a tragedy if it was like the Bronx are underscore underscore zero yeah. zero. Like and then like. But that's just would, for Instagram. Yeah. And my Twitter would oh, be yeah, the Bronx are X twelve <laughs> underscore yeah. three. Like, on the yeah, top. like <laughs> no. Like, exactly. So like things, I make sure that branding is key. That's another one. That's that's a big. Yeah, a like big like the shows there. that the shows that we have, like the ones that right after us is the R and R show. Yeah. The R and R show. No matter where, the R and R show, the L D M show. Yeah, because you, know, you have to OCH like, Radio. These all these shows I tell them you will have to have that same name for all your for <laughs> yeah, your social exactly. media. It's like um for example, like Instagram messed it up for everybody. Even right. though I love Instagram, shout out to Instagram. But like it, it goes to the point that people have like a three second memory span <laughs> and, or attention span too. Yeah, like they'll yeah, be like yeah. bye, bye, I don't like it, bye, bye, bye. Mm -hmm. And then it's like 
if your branding is not short enough or small enough, you can't do anything. Right, right, right. People won't remember you digitally and physically. And like. Nah, and which is good because <laughs> the, the Bronx, are, the name stands out. You yeah, know what I'm like, saying? It's like, it, it, it's like, I wonder where he lives at. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And if you don't know where I live at this point, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I know, right? He on a four train with the Bronx yeah. shirt. I wonder where he lives at. I wonder at. where he lives at. Yeah. <laughs> In Queens. Somebody, somebody asked me that one time. I'm like, where are you from? I'm like, the Bronx, oh, I'm like, I, I like Illinois. I just, yeah. <laughs> Which was uh, your your favorite photo that you ever? Um, oh, um, like you were, put it like this: a photo that you thought that was not gonna be good, but amazed you when you seen it. Oh yeah. Um, usually it's like um, it depends how much I struggled to take that photo, right? Right. So that's how I like grade how much I love a photo. Oh, okay. But also the content of it though. So like one of them was uh, the Yankee Stadium photo that I shot as an aerial view with my drone. Right. And I mean, I shot it in front of the 161 courthouse. But I was like, should I do it? But I was like, I'm going to do it. And then mm. when I shot it, I was like, ah, it's whatever. I looked at it on the, you know, the smaller screen. But then when I blew it up on my computer at home, I'm like, this is the best photo I shot this year. Like, oh, my God. So then I blew it up literally five feet by four feet. And I just, oh, right. Yeah, I, 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 I love those pictures because sometimes you t we take pictures. We don't really look back on it because oh, yeah. we're taking so many. But then when you get home, you're like, wow, I did a good job with yeah. this one. You know, <laughs> that's, like, that's what I said about being like, a bird's eye view is amazing. Like. People like oh, pigeons, like are like yeah. whatever boring animals, but like they see the most beautiful things every day. <laughs> and nobody knows. And that. nobody notices. Yeah, because you can't fly. But you guys, your yeah. photographers, you know, I, I'm not a photographer. I take pictures. I know photography, yeah. but I don't brand myself as a photographer. But you guys, y'all bring into light, like oh, you know, yeah. somebody be like, wait a minute, where was that at? Grand Concourse? Yeah, I never noticed I that. I love the question. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. never noticed that. Where's that at? I'm like, that's in my hand. Like, nah, nah. in my hand. Like you say, real like aggressive. Yeah, like, like they like, didn't know, and they probably <laughs> passed by it so many times. Exactly. Yeah. They passed by a hundred million times. This is this is the way how you shoot it. Right, how right. How you present it is how people would because it's hard. Like, don't get me wrong. Like going through a neighborhood that you don't know. Get sketchy after a while. Right, yeah. right, right. They're like, oh, who is this guy? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, damn. Hide, hide the stuff. I go, five oh coming down. Exactly. Coming. <laughs> so I go in there, like, you know, with, like, with, you know, with all my emotion and just like yeah. shoot, get in, get out, and keep it moving. And, and how, how you like? Uh, have you ever shot with a fish yet? A oh, fish shot? Yeah. Oh yeah, I have one at home. Yeah, we. I have, <laughs> I have one, but I never tried it. I, I got a uh, ten millimeter. A 10 yeah, millimeter. that's what I got. I, oh yeah, it's, I haven't used it yet. I mean, it's it super yet. wide, like. Yeah. You're shooting and like you can see like your forehead, which makes no sense. Right, like, right, right. You're like you're shooting this way, but it sees everything Make on things. the top. Yeah. It's, it's a powerful lens though. Like if you go, if you if you want to use like landscape and stuff like that, then uh, yeah, yeah, I still got it, but it just because it came in a whole package. Oh, you yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> it, it came in a bunch of the lenses, and that was one of them that was oh, yeah. there. Because the only thing I wanted was the wide angle lens. Oh yeah, and it takes so it. much light. It's yeah. really good. It's really yeah. good on low light and like. I'll art. probably try that one day. Um, yeah. <laughs> on one of the events that we have, but I'm more to the wide angle because we do more videos. Oh yeah, of course. Everything. Yeah, I got. I just finished buying a 24 millimeter. It's pretty wide. Right. By Rokunin. It's see. really good. It's yeah. See, I won't go that far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but like it's really said. expensive though. That's the yeah. thing. Like for what it's worth, like usually it'd be like a million dollars. But it's yeah, really yeah. Cheap, oh, okay. Yeah. But you, <laughs> like again, guys, if you just logged on to watch, this is the Bronxer. Um, yes. He does all the photographing from uh, the Bronx. Everywhere, basically. Shout out to Edible Bronx know? Magazine, too. Yeah, yeah. So They gave me that cool old platform. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, you're an Edible um, Magazine, which is just... It's going to be one of the biggest magazines. I, I'm going to give it, like, probably, like, a year, year and a half before it's, like, a bougie magazine. They have to talk to, like, three agencies together. Yeah, yeah, just to get to yeah. you. <laughs> and be like, please hold. Please, please hold. hold. And for, like, <laughs> elevator music real quick. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah. Because of that reason, because... Magazines like that, like we started off as a magazine and we just came boosting up to a show. Yeah, exactly. Um, and now it's the same thing. You got to go through one email to yeah. get to the next person. And you got to talk to Becky, Sarah, Sarah Pearl, yeah. and like <laughs> Tom is on vacation, so I got to wait till next week. Like it's yeah. Crazy. And then some people so. are like, oh, thank you for the comments. I'll be like, that wasn't me. Um, uh, who was I talking to on IG? Like, yeah, so exactly. it, it happens. But I'm, I'm glad, and you know that you guys you. that you're doing these things, which is good. Yeah. Bring the Bronx up a little, you know oh, what I'm saying? Oh, you have to. You have to, because, like, usually people feel like there's nothing left. Right. But right now, like, in this day and age, it's like, the Bronx is at ground zero. Mm. And if you could catch that wave, man, you, hey. you'd be chilling. You'd be surfing for a good few years. Good, good. <laughs> yes. Um, do you do, um, like, weddings and stuff? Do, can they hire you for oh, stuff yeah, like that? Yeah, people can hire me, all, uh, like, through any category. The only reason I kind of like go in and out on weddings is because it's like you need a humongous team for it. Right. I love weddings. They're great. And like 
the moments are amazing. The capture. Right, if you could capture that. Yeah, if you could capture yeah. it. But once you miss it, it's gone. You miss it. And then they, then they blame you. Where was that photographer? What's about, that yeah, was a good exactly. Like, it's only one head. guy. It's only one guy. Come on. <laughs> so, yeah, you can't be like, hey, uh, you might not, uh, you know, put in the ring on again, like, next week. Like, right, right, It right, doesn't right. work that way. I didn't catch that one ring. <laughs> I, I caught it when you, after you left. Yeah, but, uh, like, oh, you know, it's hard. I was so. running and taking the pictures. Um, <laughs> yeah, and then plus the Brazilers. I don't, yeah, uh, yeah. Brazilers. I, I don't know if you want to go through all that. You don't want that. You don't want that. Yeah. So, I mean, I do it here and there, but, you know, it's. Depends how I kind of feel about it. Hey, like we, we have the July 14 Music Awards, so if you, you want to come as a media and take uh, some photos, doors are open. Um, and again, uh, av what? Advice to? Oh, oh an, an, an advice. I thought you oh, said yeah. you, you want me to give advice. I, I'm not a <laughs> photographer. Oh, but wait, what I was saying, again, that the Music Awards is the 14, but yeah. I'm telling him he can come a little bit earlier, but the doors open at 5. Five to six, you can take your photos with the uh, artists that pop up. Oh, but rem keep in mind that when the artists do come in, they're going to be getting interviewed, probably photographed by him yeah. and other, other people that are, are there. That's the media dope. come in at 4.30. The people come in at 5. So That's just, dope. you know, take a ride. To but again, the PR was asking, what advice can you give to an upcoming photographer? Oh, I can give you a million, but usually um, the one that I like to give is um, shoot every day. Whether you feel horrible inside or not, it's like once you get that out of the system of feeling like you, I don't feel like shooting because it's raining, shoot because it is raining, you know what I mean? Like, or do that. Mm. And also, um, one more is um, take the fact that there's always going to be somebody that's better than you. Yeah, I noticed that. And once you let that go, you'll, you'll be the best person you could be. Because mm. there's almost, what, 8 billion people on this planet or something like that? True. And, you know, everybody's going hard. Everybody's being the best human they could be. But once you say, all right, this person is better than me, be the best you can be, not yeah. be better than that next person because you're paying attention to, you know, A, B, and C, and then you forget about yourself, you know? That is so, so, so that true. That is something I appreciate. I learned that in my uh, <laughs> magazine days. If I you like guys, that. I started off with a, a regular photographer thing and I took a picture and every time I there's yeah, nobody around yeah. okay as soon as I take that picture now here comes somebody else with a better camera next yeah, to me and I'm no, like no, no. Yeah. I've known people that have like <laughs> uh, you know hundred thousand dollar cameras and yeah. like they're you know it's, they're not that good and then you're like yeah. okay it's, I, I'm it's looking always, weird I'm looking yeah, weird you know it's better when you know you go hard you, yeah. you go amazing you know you do what, do what you the can. best what you have you exactly know exactly what you have because I learned I, that I, I didn't have a lot I was just you know I had a film camera that I didn't know how to use <laughs> so Hey, but I, gotta, another, I yeah. gotta check it in the, in the dark. Yeah, and, you know, like, I, know what the, yeah. I thought he just came out of the camera. It was crazy. Um, <laughs> but again, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, check him out, The Bronxer. Uh, and yes. social media is everything, The Bronxer. So follow him, um, like him on all, all the social medias. Please. And if you have an event that you, you like him to go to, uh, let him know. I'm here, give you all the promo. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? So you know he can ironic? go. You know what's ironic about this? In order for my company and my thing to grow, I have to build the other's foundation, which is crazy. Because in order for me to, you know, mm -hmm. go up, I have to help others. Yeah. And, yeah. And what he's trying to say is basically, like, <laughs> how many times they called us to go cover a show. And we're making that event look good. Yeah. For, so, you so your show can look good. Right. So it's, it's, it's a big circle. It's right? a big circle. It's a whole three But a lot of people don't know that. It's called networking. It's yes. called helping out. No, you, okay. I help you, you help me. Yes. It's the same thing. And trust um, me, it will grow. Not today, oh, maybe not tomorrow, but it, it will, will grow. It will grow, believe me. 100%. But, uh, Bronx, thank you for coming today. <laughs> yes. And you did yes. good, good. Again, check, check out all his um, um, photos, and you'll see that you'll probably find one photo there that you I didn't even one. know was in the Bronx. Exactly. Um, so <laughs> check it out and be like, wow. And, <laughs> and just let them know how you like his photographing because... It is a difference between a person with a camera and a person that knows what they're doing with the camera. Because exactly. I've been seeing people acting like they're photographers. Yeah, everybody of course, they got a nice big camera, and yeah. they still mess up the it don't make sense, chopping it? heads yeah. and <laughs> arms all up. No, listen, the listen. Is crazy. Yeah, so yeah, sure. listen up. Um, but if you are practicing, keep it going. Uh, we have uh, Teen View uh, host, Samantha, who's wants to take up photography so we're getting her a camera oh, so to, you know a little starter camera to take pictures she she's uh, also taking pr so oh, yes you know shout outs to her but Girl, keep up you your have, dreams you know what no, I'm saying? you have to keep it you up you have to because nobody's gonna nobody's gonna like tell you more than yourself 
how yeah. good you should be. Yeah, I always say you're the, you're the hardest uh, critic. Yeah, <laughs> trust me. That man in the mirror, yeah. he, he curses me out every day. Oh, every morning, every morning, he's like, what you doing, bro? I know. And I'll be like, even, even, <laughs> even to brush your teeth. Well, you're going to brush your teeth like that, huh? Oh, oh that's how you're going to do it. <laughs> you're going to do it now from the side to side, up and down. I get it. <laughs> hey, anyway, uh, like I said, thank you. You're always welcome uh, oh, to come yes. in here. And uh, we're following, so you have to follow. That's the rule. Yes. Follow, follow. Oh, no, a question, a question. Yes. Oh, yes. some... Oh, Mark I Mandeville. love Mark Mandeville. Yo, shout out to Mark Mandeville. You know, uh, real quick. Yeah. He's, I've seen him, like, start from YouTube and doing his thing, and then he started video editing, and now he's doing photos, and now he's doing photo editing. He's just a beast within himself. Hey. And, like, he has so much energy and creativity. Like, I, I, whoever wants to follow him, go ahead. Yeah. And he's... He's a total savage. Yeah, that's what I say. When, yeah, I, when I like I'm, someone, I say follow them. Yeah, follow them. Like, it's, it's all in the family stuff. It doesn't hurt. Yeah. You know, it's, it's a big interweb, man. And not only that, you... you free. Yeah, yeah, support, support. is so free. Yeah. I, matter of fact, when I went to get something for free, the first thing that they said was his support. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. We'll like, give you the vegetable for free, but we're going to give you support for free first. You know, exactly. It's free, guys. It doesn't exactly. hurt. Um, like, if people usually, like, they're stuck on, like, oh, they're not going to pay me. Like... All right, that doesn't work like that. No, nah, no. Nah. Like, it's, the way I see it is, like, if that person is not paying me or whatever, mm -hmm. what's going to happen is I know that the persons around them is going to pay me. Yeah. Yeah, well, you feel me? Like, I, I like always that. say, um, yeah. like, a lot of people say, hey, Charles, you go to these places, and it comes out of your pocket, and you travel, uh -huh. and you do this. When I first started, yeah. I said, yeah, no one pays me. They just yeah. tell me there's an event. I go to it. Yeah, and right? then whatever opportunities. Is there yeah, and then look at now. I own my own network. I, my show is being number one. It's being picked up by other networks. Exactly. So, and this all become because I support it and I network. Exactly. I had shows in here supporting their own shows. Like, look at that. With, no, with nothing in return. Like, I didn't care. you just let that go? I even watch other shows. It's like when you're watching TV. Don't yeah. you watch... Um, ABC, and then all of a sudden you're changing to NBC and stuff like exactly, that. Exactly, you don't. You, 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 you just go boop, boop, boop. Yeah, boop. so it's the and same thing as us. Too. You learn a lot. You same learn thing. A lot. You learn so much. But you guys, you got to support as much as possible. And yeah. again, like I said, thank you for coming today. I came in a scorching sun over here. Like I know. That, yeah, I'm in shorts today. Yeah, I was I, like, I I'm going to relax. Yeah, I Normally, I'm in a nice shirt. Yeah. <laughs> but I was like, not nah, today. I didn't even <laughs> shave. I'm like, ooh, no, no, I'm too hot. I'm too hot. But check out the Bronx and check out all his photos. Um, and again, support for the photographers because it is kind of a hard job. You don't know. Exactly. Um, but when we come back, we're coming back with a blogger that would explain stuff that he does in the photos. Oh, so, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They all come together because he does a story in photos. They do a story in writing. But yes. it all has to do with the Bronx and other things that are happening in the world. Bronx supports Bronx. Hey, we'll be right back, right here on the LDM Show. Hey, you've been watching the LDM Show. Let us know what you think about this episode. Hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. We value your opinion, so please let us know. And let's get right back to the show.